most hated, hated opinions. Back with some more of this industry politics. Um, today we're gonna be talking about Fifty and his son Marquise. The shit I find this shit interesting. They little dynamic, how, with, like what they got going on. Cause you look at other father sons dynamic in the rap shit, and ain't nobody shit like this. Like Master P and Romeo situation, they good. Like Diddy and his sons, they good. 50 and his son is the only one that's like public. I don't know about anybody else, like personal. They like, you feel me? They keep their shit behind doors, behind closed doors. But 50 and his sh his son shit is like public. Like it low key feel like if you watch Power, how Ghost and his son is. Like how Ghost's son don't really fuck with him. Like it feel like that. Like 50's son. Don't fuck with him. And apparently, like, 50, he acknowledges the shit, too. Like, he knows or he senses the shit, too. And he, I guess he talks about it right here. If I'm a million-dollar nigga... That's his son yeah. right here. My son gonna be a million-dollar nigga. I'm a billion-dollar nigga. I, my son that, gonna be a billion-dollar nigga. Sometimes when you've been hurt a lot and you've done your shit to hurt him, too, it feels best to walk away. I came extremely close not long ago. After I unexpectedly bumped into Marquise in my jeweler store in Manhattan, I didn't even know he was in the city at the time. So I was shocked to see him. All right, right there. That show you like they relationship right there. Your son is in the city that you stay at. You got you got businesses and all that in, and he don't even let you know he in town. Not let you know he in town but let you know that he's at one of your establishments that you frequent. It's not like he popped up in the city, went to go see his mans real quick on some low shit, and then dip before, you feel me, in and out real quick. Nah, you popped up in the town, and you went to my jeweler. Like, so, what What? What that mean? Like, what? that says something. I don't know what it says, but it says something. Like, this deep. that's deeper than just going to the jeweler. You, you popped up in the town, you, you know your pops around, you don't call your pops, but you go to your pops jeweler. Like, that's that's kind of a little weird. I tried to start a conversation, but he immediately accused me of having him. This nigga had dome pieces, crazy though, but he looked just like 50. Can't say them niggas, he, he ain't 50. Follow. I told him that was crazy, but things only went down here from there. The energy Wait, between us was terrible was having him follow. So he was having him follow. I didn't even know he was in the city at the time, so I was shocked to see him. I tried to start a conversation, but he immediately accused me of having him follow. I told him that was crazy, but things only went down here from there. The energy between us was terrible. Marquise even said, what, I'm supposed to be afraid of you? That really messed my head up. This was my firstborn son, my own flesh and blood, and we couldn't even speak to each other. Let alone hug and laugh at an unexpected encounter. The way he he saying this is like it's from a book or something. Like he's reading it, like he wrote a book and he's just like reading it, like audio book type shit. But you could tell, like situations like that, and they, it's always two sides. I don't think that Fifty was that calm on that interaction as the like the way he's saying it. Like oh, um, I I couldn't understand, and this I feel like it was more he was more turnt than how he's reading or how he's saying the interaction went down. But regardless, there's like tension there from previous situations. It, it, it's, it's history. It's more than just this incident where they bumped into each other at the store. And he accused them of having them follow. It's previous, I guess, like since he was little. Like he must have been holding, he's holding on to something since he was little, fifth or he did like he must feel like fifty did something to him or didn't do something for him when he was younger that he's holding on to now. Finally, without a word, Marquise basically fled the store, leaving me dumbfounded. A couple of my guys went down to the street and tried to catch up with Marquise and say, "Why are you bugging? This is your father. Come talk to him." But Marquise had already disappeared. He didn't want to be found. I couldn't even follow them into the street. My mom was fuzzy and I couldn't think straight. 
I had to take several minutes to compose myself. You see, that's that's how yeah, so it's definitely a book. Nigga said I had to take several minutes to compose myself. Most definitely a book. Entitlement creates resentment. There have been a lot of disappointing moments in my relationship. Entitlement creates resentment. Entitlement creates resentment. Well, I think it's deeper than that. Entitlement wouldn't create resentment. Loss of entitlement or feeling like you entitled and not getting it would, you feel me, would cause resentment. But just entitlement, period, causing resentment, period, I, you got to get like, you got to expand that. Relationship with Marquise over the past few years. But the lowest was when I saw him post a picture of himself with Kyle McCraft, the son of Kenneth Supreme McCraft. Without reacting too much bad history, Kenneth McGriff was one of the biggest drug dealers in Queens, and the man the authorities believe was behind the attempt on my life. So, by so he picking sides, and he picked the op side, because that's not a story he wouldn't know, being that he's your son. More than likely, he lived it with you. Depending on his age, when he got hit, he probably either seen it or too young to remember, or he he experienced it, lived through it with you. So he picking sides in your beef and he picked the op side. By posing with his son. Like I said, that don't that don't seem like some power shit. That's some reek shit. That's some that's some reek shit. Like you picking sides against your father with your father's ops. That's crazy. Marquise was basically co-signing the individual who might have tried to have his father killed. Facts. I had known Marquise resented me for a while, but I never imagined he would hate me so much that he'd allow link up to with the ops. Prop by my enemy. Someone. Nah, that's crazy. Nigga linked with the ops because he's like he said, he mad, he resented him. He's mad for some reason. And like I said, Fit is two sides to every story. So you never know. He could have a valid reason for being mad at 50. You never know what 50 did or didn't do. So he could have a valid reason. But by the reason not being public and just the actions being public, it looked funny recently sent me a quote from Benjamin Franklin that really resonated with me. Franklin's son had sided with the British in the Revolutionary War, despite the fact that his father was one of the leaders of the Revolution. They messed with Ben Franklin for the rest of his life. He wrote, Nothing is up man, fuck ben Franklin, against man. me. But he was standing next to have been literally taken up arms against me. But he was standing next to the son of someone who might have. I could recognize Franklin's pain. I spent a lot of time searching my soul trying to understand what can make a son forsake his father like that. I've tried to put myself in Marquise's shoes. Just My nigga, he got 50 teeth and all that. They got the same teeth. They got the same face, same teeth, bro, down to the teeth. Because he doesn't know what it's like to grow up under the circumstances I did. I don't know what it was like to grow up as the son of 50 Cent. Certainly on the surface, he had everything he wanted. But there must have been pressures and insecurities from being my son that I can't identify with. I accept that. I still can't see it. Pressures and insecurities being 50 Cent son. I could buy that. I could buy that. Anywhere you go, if niggas know you fifth son, there's a certain way you got to carry yourself. That's, that is a fact. That Yeah, that's a fact. But... How close was you keeping your son at that time? If you was, if your son was under the wing to where you was grooming him and raising him to move like 50's son, then it would be no issue. But if he wasn't under the wing to get that grooming to know how to move as 50's son, then that's probably where the issue is. How, much, how involved was you in raising Marquise? See how those pressures and insecurities will force a child to go against his own father, especially a father who has provided everything for him. Right, like the like you saying pressures and insecurities. He would like, all right, boom. If you got your son and you in your son life every day, you see him every day, 
and you feel like there's pressures and insecurities uh, on him from being your son because you famous and got money and you a street nigga and got a history in the street, he would eventually tell you that or you would recognize that and y'all would speak on that. Like, he'd be like, yo, pops, yo, I, 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 I got I to gotta move a certain type of way because I'm your son type shit. Like, like or yo, yo, I'm gonna see, yo, sit down right here. Let me, let me talk to you. You can't be out here just slipping and lacking and moving any type crazy way because I'm I'm me. I'm I like, for me those conversations get had if y'all in proximity enough with enough time enough around each other to have those conversations to recognize that from 50 to recognize those the the insecurity blessed in the sun and for the sun to be blessed be around them long enough and consistently enough to voice that if 50 don't see that. Like you feel, yeah. As I go over our relationship in my mind the only answer that I can come up with is that I actually might have done too much for Marquise. Okay. That's a, that's, How do you make a, a privileged angle. child feel deprived or angry? I guess by giving him whatever he wants. That's backwards. How do you make a privileged child feel deprived or angry by giving him everything he wants? No, by stopping. Stop. By stopping. That's how you make a privileged child get angry by stopping. Once you start some shit, like they got some shit called spare the rods, but whatever the fuck the quote is. But once you start some shit, then they get used to it. The only way to make them mad is to stop it. If you got, if you were a fucking millionaire, billionaire, and every time your kids come and say, daddy money, you give them five bands, 10 bands, five bands, 10 bands from when they was little to when they 18, 19, then they kind of, you say, daddy money. And you like, yo, nah, I'm not doing that no more. They going to get mad. Like, yo, nah, what you mean you're not doing that no more? You've been doing that my whole life. How can you stop now? And you can't blame the child for getting mad because you handicapped them. You have, you gave them no other way than to say daddy money. Daddy money, you never gave them an alternative to daddy money. So, when, when they come in and use what's been working for 19 years of their life and you say no, they going to get mad. They're going to resent you for cutting off what you've provided this whole time. Like many, so that quote, the way you quoted that or the way you said that is, is backwards. It's not by giving them what they want. It's by stopping, discontinuing the way you've been treating them. Like if you've been giving a fucking five bands of fucking birthday every fucking birthday since they was fucking 12 they 19 they've been getting fucking five bands every birthday and now they owe on their 19th birthday <coughs> you give them a card with a hundred dollars and say yo I, I start to get it on your own they're like what the fuck is this i'm expecting five bands they're gonna be mad as shit let next year come around it's another hundred dollars yo you figured it out yet that builds the resentment now like whoa how what, what the fuck happened kids from his generation. Marquise has always been into sneakers. Mm -hmm. Because he's my son, he couldn't just rock any old sneakers either. If a new pair of Jordans came out, he had to have them right away. If Marquise asked for a pair of Jordans on Monday, his mother would make sure they were on his feet by Tuesday. It still didn't make Alright, but was y'all together? Was you... That's, you yeah, that's what I'm saying. You said the mother would have had him on the feet by Tuesday. It sounds like he was living with his moms. And now you're saying that she was spoiling them. She he asked her for the sneakers on Monday, and she made sure he had the sneakers on Tuesday. So you're saying that the mother spoiled him. Make him happy. Instead of being excited to rock his new pair of Jordans, all Marquise could think about was all of the retro Jordans he didn't have. All the different flyways and colors that weren't in his closet. When he should have felt gratification, all he really felt was disappointment. I could not relate. The kid didn't have a job, but somehow wanted to collect $300 sneakers and then still felt unhappy when he actually got them? His entire mindset was alien to me. I have to believe his mother was behind his disappointment. He thought he could have every sneaker ever made, even though he hadn't actually earned any of them. He's not regular. She would tell me when I asked why he needed another new pair. 
is your son. She had already established the patent that you didn't have to work for some. All right. So basically, he's saying the mother spoiled him. And the reason behind the mother spoiling him is because of the entitlement he was talking about. That because Marquise is 50's son, he's supposed to have all the Jordans. He's supposed to look a certain type of way. All right. Now, you can break that down in a couple ways. I can tell you that part of me says she's not wrong. Part of me says she's not wrong because of what you said before. He's your son and there's certain insecurities that come along with being that. So if he's your son and your son looking bummy going to school, but everybody know that's 50 son. How is he going to live life in school? If he don't, if the regular Joe Schmo got his kid in every Jordan, because he's working and he's doing, he's getting money, whatever how he's doing it. He got his kid in every fucking new pair of Jordans. How I look like he going to school with 50 son and, and 50 son has less than that praise on or that works on the insecurities that you was talking about from before. But like I said, if you were around him to put him under the wing, those are conversations that get had. When he's like, yo, pop, I need the new pair of J's. He like, yo, I just got you a new pair of J's last week. He like, yo, bro, I'm nigga, I'm fifth son. I need a new pair of J's. That's when you had that conversation. Like, yo, listen to me. Just because you fifth son don't mean I'm buying you J's every fucking week. You bugging out. You're not working. You're not earning none of this bread. Just cause you think you're gonna be living off of my name? That's not that's not what's gonna happen. Hustle. I could put you to work. I can make you some money. But we're not going to not going to sit up here talking about, oh, every every week I need a new pair of J's because I'm your son and you 50 and I got to look like I'm the son of 50. Those conversations get had when he's under the wing. If he's not under the wing and he's living with moms you and he's he's going off what mom's theories is and her logic is and her logic. Like I said, it ain't wrong. That's fifth son. How he look going to school with less than if that's fifth son. It's, it's it goes with it. I'm, I can't say that she's wrong. Now, entitlement, or like, um, encouraging entitlement is wrong. Like, if she's telling him, you're fifth son, you deserve these things, you deserve to look like this because you're fifth son, you don't have to work. You're just because you're fifth son, you, you're supposed to have these things. And I, I, he's supposed to give these things to you, Jordans every week or whatever you ask for. That's wrong. That's wrong. But, but for her wanting her son to have nice things that's not wrong if that's what we're talking about that's not wrong and for her to say oh because he's your son and you're a public figure and your son has to look a certain way because he's the son of a public figure i don't think that's wrong either because you're not private you're not private if y'all was rich niggas but nobody knew who y'all was it'd be different but nigga you on cd covers you on posters you everywhere you a celebrity and your son is not private he's out there he's going to public schools or whatever it's fucking he's doing you're not hiding them neither. He's not hiding himself. So there's a certain way a motherfucker gonna have to look. Something to get it. Marquise was just following her lead. I didn't uh, it look like the rest of this is gonna be a blame game. He blaming the moms and the son entitlement. Like I said, this is only one side of the story. So you have to hear they side to see what he didn't do and what he did do. But like I said, the shit interesting to me. They hold dynamic, the father son dynamic, and him not getting along. Fucking Marquis fucking siding with the ops sons and pitches, the op side and pitches and all that. Like the shit just real funny to me. Like it's it's not nothing I could compare it to. I don't you don't see a a rap a, a, a established rap dude that that like really in there. Like not no B list D list celebrity. Like a real well known nigga having problems with his like his his son like. Jay-Z don't have no son. He just got daughters. So you can't compare it to that. Like, it's just like Diddy, Master P. It's all of them niggas is good. Like, it's just this one issue. So it's deeper than sneakers and, and shit. Like, if they just want to keep it as sneakers, it's deeper than that. Some shit, I believe some shit happened to where they, 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 they relationship split and it never got better. It's some, it's an actual incident that fucking happened that niggas ain't speaking on. 
But we gonna leave that bitch right here. But this shit already ran long. Uh, most hated, hated opinions. I'm out this bitch.